This one comes from Cointelegraph. An Australian regulator claims 58% of crypto ads on Facebook are scams. And I would, uh, I would say probably more. But Australian competition watchdog cited preliminary research that found more than half of the crypto ads on the platform breach Meta's policies or involve scams. Now, over half of crypto ads on Facebook are either scams or violate Meta's policies, according to Australia's competition watchdog, citing preliminary research. Now, in 2022, the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission took Facebook parent company Meta to court over allegations that the company had aided and abetted celebrity crypto scam ads on Facebook, and a hearing date has yet to be set. Now, the latest filing of the federal court, the ACC claims that during its preliminary analysis of crypto advertisements on the platform, upward of 58% of those reviewed violate Meta's advertising policies or potentially involve scams. Now, the ads which promote crypto investment scams use the image of high-profile Australians such as entrepreneur Dick Smith, billionaire, former casino executive James Packer, Hollywood actors like Chris Hemsworth, Mel Gibson, Nicole Kidman, Russell Crowe, and former politician Mike Bard. Now, a specific figure is mentioned for possible losses associated with these scams, but the Australian government website uh, Scam Watch shows that the investment scams are still the most prominent way Aussies are losing money. Now, so far in 2024, there have been 3,456 reports of investment scams, totaling to over $78 million in losses. The ACCC says it's identified 600 ads during its investigation. However, it is now focused on just 234 of them and claims it could find other instances of celebrity scams after the discovery of the process in this case. Now, in December of 2023, billionaire Australian mining tycoon Andrew Forrest sued Meta over the Facebook ads that used deep fakes of his image to promote the scam scam crypto scheme. Now, it was originally thrown out, but the United States judge gave the case a green light to proceed in June. Now, at the same time, the regulator argues that since at least January of 2018, Meta has been aware of the significant proportion of cryptocurrency advertisements on the Facebook platform and having used misleading or deceptive promotional practices. Advertisers are required to agree that certain contractual terms, which include compliance with Meta's advertising policies, these policies prohibit advertisements which promote schemes using deceptive or misleading practices. The ACCC said that according to the Australian watchdog, Meta does does possess the technical ability or could have developed technology to place warnings on suspected ads, warning users they should exercise care when interacting, Now, it's alleged that while Meta takes down individual ads once complaints are received and on occasion bans associated accounts, it continues to show and earn revenue from similar ads featuring the same celebrity or other public figures. So it makes sense that they're making money off of it and rather wait to report on it. But Meta claims it's it's safety center that invests in products and support systems to keep the scammers out and delete fake accounts. Now, Statista data estimates that in the fourth quarter of 2023, Facebook took action on 691 million fake accounts, down from 827 million in its previous quarter and the high of 2.2 billion fake profiles in 2019. Cointelegraph has contacted Meta for comment on the ACCC's allegations and has yet to be heard from. And like, that's pretty much every time we try to report on or hear from them. But no, so just be, to be safe out there, just do not click on anything on any social media platform, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I've been throwing like, like uh, what else is there? Telegram, Discord, like just any social media platform or pop up ad. Don't do it. It's a scam. Like the only true way to like do well in this space is just buy it and huddle it and keep it in your own possession. Like there's too many scams out there. Don't think you're going to get rich quick because that's not the space. But just be careful out there. That's the Australian news report on Facebook scams. And that's it. That's all I got for you.